it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about a video I made previously. And uh, it was talking about stay-home mums, okay? And in that video, it was saying that as a stay-home mum, you need to make time for yourself. Well, in this video, I just wanted to say, okay, that if being a stay-at-home mum fills your heart with joy and fills your heart with love and you just love every minute of it, please keep doing that. There's no reason why you can't keep doing that. If it's your purpose, it's your calling, it's what makes you full of joy. That's what we're here for, you know, to live a life of meaning. And for some of you, that may be just, you know, the being a mum may be enough for you. That's it. That's all you need. And you're happy with that. Then I urge you to keep doing that. You know? It's just that in the time that I've been around, you know, and I'm, I'm also including my mum in this picture, you know, at one point she became a stay-at-home mum. And I know that for her she was frustrated because there were things that she wanted to do. You know, she wanted to do more than just be a mum she, for herself, you know, because in doing other things, in reading things, in we discover things about ourselves, you know, about who we are. And for some of you, being a mum may be enough, maybe just what you need to know who you are. That's my puppy. <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> All right, keeps knocking my stuff over. Okay, so, you know, if that's what makes you happy, do that. It's just that I know that there's so many stay-at-home mums that I talk to and they just don't feel satisfied. They don't feel that that's enough for them. You know, that they need more. So that's what that video was about, you know, about you making that time, you know, so that what you do doesn't feel like a sacrifice. It doesn't feel like a chore, like that's all you're doing is doing stuff for everyone else. Like you don't matter. That's what that video was for, because you do matter. You matter the most. The whole family revolves around you as a mum. So if you're not well up here, you know, if you feel frustrated or you feel angry or whatever other feelings come up, it's because there's something inside you that wants more. You want to experience more. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, you need to do that for yourself. Don't expect others to do it for you. Do it for yourself. You know, you start to say, this time is for me. This is what I'm going to do for me. Everyone else, <laughs> allocate, you know, allocate responsibilities. Pass them all around and make that time. Because you deserve it as much as everyone else. We seem to think as mums that we don't deserve to have that time to ourselves. That we need to be busy all the time with our family. That that's what makes us a good mum. We have this thing about being a perfect mum. And there's no such thing. You know? If you dedicate all your time to all your family, and that is not something that fills your heart with joy and love, and please, don't start to feel ashamed or bad that that's wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> You're a human being. There's nothing wrong with you wanting time for you to do things that make you feel good. Like going for a walk, like going for a jog, like reading a book. There's nothing wrong with that. You deserve to have that time too. That whole video was for that, for you to stop feeling like you don't deserve to have that. You're not good enough to have that time. That would make you a bad mum. And that's not true. Because in doing those things, you become more joyful. You feel better about yourself. Oh, I enjoyed that book. Oh, I enjoyed that long walk. You come back feeling better. You've got more to contribute to your family. Then if you're sitting there grouchy, you know, or frustrated that you never have time for you. 
what are you contributing to your family then? You know? Because I know for my mum, she would have loved to have done so much more than what she did. There was so much in my mum. You know, we were grown up and my mum opened up a delicatessen overseas. And she enjoyed that. She felt useful. You know, she felt that she was contributing to the family. She felt so good about herself that she was running this delicatessen by herself. You know, and we'd help out as much as we could because we were studying. I was studying at the time I was at uni and my sister was still in high school. So we'd help out as much as we could, but she was running it. It was her business. And that made her feel awesome. You know, so for all those years, all that yelling and <laughs> smacking and all those years of frustration, I realized it was because she wanted to do more than just be a mum. That was her. You know, I have witnessed, I have seen mums that are stay home mums and they always look happy. You know, they, they look like that's all they need. They're happy with that. They don't need anything else. You see them, they're calm. They're smiling. Even with their kids, they never lose the plot. You know? They've got it together. That's all they need. So you need to find what's right for you because we're not all the same in that way. We're not all the same. We're not all happy to be dedicated to other people all day long and not have any time to ourselves. We're not all happy to do that. Some are. So find what's right for you. Because if you're cranky that you don't have time to yourself, you put that out into your family. You're sharing that crankiness. And you're also teaching your kids that it's not right for them to have time for them, for themselves. You're setting an example to them as well. They're watching you. Children are following everything you do. They're watching you. You're teaching them that they don't deserve to make time for themselves when they grow up that they have to be sacrificed to everyone else in the ho you know, in their family later. This is the example that you're setting. So think about that. Do your children deserve to have their own time when they grow up? Do they deserve to have their own lives, even if they do have a family and you're all dedicated to making this family beautiful? Then why not you as well? Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Because sometimes we think it's all right for others, you know, that they should have all that, but we don't think it's right for us. Why not? Why is it not right for you? Why does it make you feel bad if you do something for yourself? Think about it. Because that's what we're here for. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.